Hi, I'm back again. It's Vicki. Um, I had just made a video where I was making a card for my granddaughters, um, and I wanted to put their names inside the egg, and I started thinking, you know, we could probably do the same thing with some of the shapes that we have right here in the Canvas workspace, and that's how I made these cards here. So I'm going to demonstrate how I did that so you can make your own Easter eggs. You will need your own file. I'm sorry I can't share this one. I'm not sure where I got it from, and I don't want to break copyright law. But anyway, um, I'm enlarging it for your sake. And what I'm going to do is uh, make a copy of it. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy, right click, paste. There it is. Put that to the side. And so now it's just a matter of experimenting. I found this was a fun one to use. So, um, Put it wherever you want it, really. Um, I'm going to change the color of it, though, so that you can see it better. Because the color is not really that great for this. Okay, you can see that better. That's all I wanted to do. So I'm going to click on this and right-click, copy, right-click, paste. And I'm going to put another one on. So I'll put that there. Let's see, what else do we have to choose from here? The diamonds would probably be pretty, so I'm going to choose that one and put that in the center. And you get the gist of it, the general idea. Um, I see, I thought I kept its color, and I guess it doesn't. Okay, color, something that's light. So you don't have to, like, you know, bring it into the shape, whatever size you want it to be. Leave it that way because at first I was messing up. Now, if you notice, these have a curve to them. So I did that a little bit differently. I didn't use the border for that. I probably could have, but I didn't. Um, what I did was I went into the basic shapes. And let's see. What would make a good shape? <laughs> Maybe this one. Let's try that. Okay. so. That's where this extra, in fact, I have to make an extra one of this because I'm going to need another one for that too. Uh, copy and paste. Okay. So I'm going to move this one out of the way. And I guess I'll work over here. I hope this workspace allows me to do this. And I need to have this on top. Oops, brought the wrong one. Bring to front. Okay. So, let me make this a color so you can see it better. Okay, I think you can see that now. So what I'm going to do with this, it's curved, and that's why I chose it, because really you need something that's curved on the bottom here. So I'm going to keep stretching it. And what I'm looking at is the blue space on the bottom. I am not looking at the shape itself. I'm looking at this blue part down here. So now what I'm going to do is click both of these together and right click, subtract. And now I have two pieces and I'm going to, whoop, I need to break the, separate them. So I'm going to hit divide. And now I have this shape right here which I can bring in and let me make that gray also just so you can see it. So it just gives like a little bit of shape to the egg. I'm going to use my arrow keys to get it where I want it. And I'm going to do the same thing with, whoop, with the top of this. So we did that on the bottom. Maybe I'll do the same thing for the top just to make it look, you know, look the same. So now again, I'm going to be looking at the blue at the top now so that I can get the look that I want. So I think I want to bring this up more. You just have to play with it. I've been having fun making these. Okay, so I'm going to get both of these together. Again, I'm going to hit subtract. And now I have this piece here. Oh, 
you know what? It didn't work because I didn't have it overlapped enough. So I'm going to hit the back button. And I'm going to click on this again and extend this over more. I just didn't push it over enough. Okay. So now hit shift and hit that. And oh, what am I doing? Right click, subtract. Okay. So now I have it. I need to separate them, which is divide. And there we go. Let me make that a different color so that you can see it. And there we are. Now, I'm not sure the top and bottom one are going to work the way I want them to. Um, we're going to find out. So I'm going to gather all these together. Oh, before I do that. I, oh, yeah, that's right. I, I've already made my other copy, so I don't have to worry about that. So now I'm going to hit subtract. And let's see what this turns out to be. I want to get rid of these. I'm going to hit the delete button. I'm going to get my large one. And again, I'm going to um, come up to edit. And I want to make an offset. And I'm going to bring it to 2-4. I want to go to 2-5, but it doesn't do that. So I'll take 2-4. Okay. And I'm going to take the smaller one and change the color of it so that we can see what we have here. Um, make a hot pink. I think that was the one I chose. Okay. So let's get this behind here. And I think that looks pretty cool. Okay. But we don't want it. To be pieces, at least I don't want it to be pieces. I mean, you can if you want. I want to make this easier. So I should not have done it that way. That shows you what it looks like. I need to make an offset of this too. I may be making too many offsets. I can't remember because I'm still learning how to do this. I'm doing I'm going to the wrong place. Um, offset. And again, two, four. Okay. So now let's see if that works. I have to send it to the back. Send it back. And now let me get it centered the way that I like it. I think that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is gather all these. Again, I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit weld. I'm not weld. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm not thinking. My other program. Different program, subtract. Okay, and that's pretty the way that it is, but now we have the other one that we had made extra. Bring that behind, and now we have a pretty Easter egg. So that is something that you can do on your own, just using the shapes here and using your borders. So I hope you have fun. Talk to you later. Bye.